It is December the 23rd, 2023. Well, I learned a new term yesterday. Um, it seems that we are in a world where the new normal is kind of like water. It's always moving, it's always changing. <laughs> um, can't really nail it down anymore. Normal is uh, a trend that lasts for a day and it can be gone by the next day. And um, <clears throat> a while back, there was a big thing about FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out. And a lot of people were all excited about the prices of houses going up and they were saying, if we don't buy a house now, the price will be too expensive in the future and we won't be able to afford a house. So because of fear of missing out, they went out, got themselves into all kinds of debt, overpaid for a house, and now they're stuck in a debt, or a, in, well, in, in a debt-based house, a mortgage, um, their death pledge, and uh, they're stuck with a place that's not worth what they paid for it. And the house prices are starting to collapse, and more and more exter experts are coming out saying, epic crash on the way. So now it went from the fear of missing out, FOMO, to YOLO, <laughs> you only live once, Y-O-L-O. -O. Hmm, kind of reminds me of a verse of scripture. Let's see if we can find that in the Bible real quick here. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 32 and 33. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantageth it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners huh i guess our old archaic king james bible isn't so archaic after all not so outdated and whatever else uh, that's correct <clears throat> there's a lot of people that have the mindset of let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die um this whole yolo thing um you know the evil communications now corrupting good manners you have these people that are saying well because the price of housing has continued to rise and the interest rates are so high now I can't afford a mortgage. Well, if I can't ever have a house, then you know what? Let's go out and live it up. Let's go on a big vacation and um, saw a thing where there was a couple that actually um, got themselves into $10,000 in credit card debt after she lost her job because they, she said, well, you only live once, you know? So might as well just go and have this big expensive vacation and um, bury ourselves in debt. Then we'll just have to declare bankruptcy and ruin our credit and all this other stuff. <laughs> America's in a mess. You know, so is the rest of the world, but America has uh, been wanton and waxed rich and everything else, you know, by debt, by artificial wealth. And um, it's time to pay the piper. And a lot of these people are starting to realize that uh, the future's not looking so good. So they're saying, you know what, let's just go out and live it up. You only live once, you know. Oh, well, that's true. But there's a much better saying than uh, you only live once. And that is, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Uh, that's a much better statement. Uh, much truer than the other one. You only have one life. You only have one chance. And that, the importance of knowing who your creator is. Who created all this? The Bible says that uh, the things that are seen here, um, that they're temporal. The things that are not seen are eternal. But the problem is, you can say, well, I can't see God and whatever else. Yeah, but the, the issue with that is, the Bible says the things that are made, um, they basically bear witness to the existence of God. God is real. Um, I'm trying to think of how the verse goes. It's Romans chapter 1. I have a lot of other things to do right now, so my, my mind is on things, but um, the invisible things of the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. There you go. Finally came back into the old brain here. Um, you are without excuse. You can't say, well, you only live once, might as well live it up and whatever else. Oh, well, you only live once, you better get to know your Creator. You better get to know who Jesus Christ is. And um, just to tell you, the economy is not going to get any better. Oh, they're going to lower interest rates and everything's going to be fine. We'll be okay and everything. Uh, okay, even if that's true, 
which if historically when they lower interest rates after they've been up higher, it uh, leads to unemployment and it also leads to inflation. Um, I thought the interest rates were being raised to stop inflation, but now they'll pivot and make inflation go back up. So the uh, cost of living is going to go up for everybody. Just what we need. Um, the, the death of the dollar, the fiat currency that we have terrorized, that America has terrorized the world with, um, that system is dying. And you have the vast majority of the world now, a uh, much bigger number is lining up with the BRICS countries. And they're not for the dollar. And the other central banks collecting gold and all, you know, all the stuff that's going on. Um, big changes are about to happen in our world. And uh, the most foolish thing that you can do is say, well, you only live once, you know. YOLO is my new motto in life. Well, then you're a fool. You are uh, falling for evil communications and they're corrupting what should be good manners. Good manners would include you doing things that are right, things that make sense. But a lot of people don't want to think about that. Uh, only live for the here and now. Well, you're like an animal. Um, animals uh, are concerned with procreation and eating and playing and sleeping. And then they get up and they want to do it all over again. You're supposed to be a higher, of a higher order. You're made in the image and after the likeness of God. You have the ability to understand higher spiritual concepts that animals can't understand. But most people just want to spend their time saying, well, I don't know about all that stuff. You know, that's just your opinion and just your interpretation and the whole thing. No, it isn't. Um, God called me into the ministry and I can preach and teach his word. And I can tell people if they're saved or if they're going to hell. Because the Bible tells me that I can. The Bible shows me that you have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, well, then you're going to hell. Okay? <laughs> and, of course, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, but you can watch our salvation messages on that. There's numerous ones out there explaining salvation from the King James Bible. But um, this foolish philosophy of you only live once, uh, that's going to come back and it's going to bite these people. And let me tell you something, Christian. Um, you better be real careful before you help people like that. Things get bad. Things start to fall apart. Um... Don't forget there are people that uh, they've earned the wages of sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Uh, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There are a lot of people that are going to die. They're going to perish because they rejected the Lord Jesus Christ for years and years. And they mocked his word and they didn't want anything to do with God. And now judgment is coming and they're going to be judged. Pray about who you help, brethren, going forward. And um, if you're watching this as an atheist, uh, you're running out of time. Oh, you've said that before. You've said that for years. Well, I mean it this time. God's been real merciful to you, atheists out there. But uh, that mercy is going to go away. And then let me tell you something. I believe firmly within me, within my soul, I can feel this. I believe when the judgment comes, it's going to be quick. I don't think it's going to take long to bring this nation down. I really don't. Uh, 21st century warfare, fifth generation warfare, is not like the old stuff that take, takes years and years to do. Um, you can wipe out the people of America very quickly now. Very quickly. So, take it or leave it, whatever you want to do. But uh, abandon this foolish philosophy if you've been living that way. Uh, you only live once. Well, that's not actually true because you're going to go to an eternity in either heaven or hell. Most people go to hell. I suggest you get it worked out that you make sure that you're going to heaven when you die. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.